Hello, I'm Ravewood, and welcome back to Medieval Dynasty. So we wandered around a little bit, waiting for the shops to open up, and this guy just came out of his house and sold off some stuff, so I got him up to 2,000 coins. But he's got a quest line for me to do. Okay, so that guy who has a quest line is just yep. the uh, Become the Beetroot King quest line. Oh, uh, okay. So it's grow a bunch of beetroots. Yeah, which I think is actually gotcha. a main quest. Yeah, I've noticed, like, one of the things that is different between each playthrough is the main quests actually change. Yeah. So, like, uh, in the one that had the audio issues, uh, we had the crazy guy mm. saying it's the end of the world. How have you been? Um, I had one... Uh, we had, Another in the client. our first recordings, we well had the done. rock, paper, scissors lady. Yep. So, yeah. More fishies. Okay, and I am up to 2,300 coins, so I'm gonna buy myself some large pouch and stuff. Nice. So I think my goal for this particular day is to get my house established. Sounds good. I've got somewhere to lay my head. I am thinking we do the same place. Do you agree? I kind of just like that there isn't a huge amount of wood around there, but once we get a wood shop going, that doesn't really matter much. So, it okay. seems like a nice place, really. Okay. So I think the different quests that we're getting right now are different parts of the Stay Vigilant, Keep an Eye on the Situation in Oxbow. Over oh, the okay. And that each playthrough it gives us different ones. Gotcha. Alright, buildings... All right, yeah, I'm going to build my house in a slightly different area this time. I'm going to build it here. All right, I need to make an axe so that I can... Ooh, I level one survival. Nice. Survival is the only one that I don't immediately get the three in now. I go one for survival knowledge, one to survival sense, and then go back to survival knowledge. Oh, yeah? Because survival sense is just so good. It can be really useful. But I tend to go for survival knowledge and then uh, insensitive. Oh, yeah, insensitive is really good, too. Yes. It is so good. Wait, I just realized I found a bronze axe. I don't need an axe. Nice. Ah, bronze axes are so good. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, handcrafting. Get the wooden hammer made. I am All right. in the swamp and there's a, a moose stuck trying to come out of a house. Huh. It's kind of tempted to stab it to death. Oh, there's a dead guy full of poison firing arrows. Yes. Oh, he has a copper knife. Hey, a 1% iron axe. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to bother carrying that. I mean, iron axes, you get quite a bit out of each percent, so it wouldn't be a terrible thing. Yeah, but I have a copper axe and it's heavy. Ooh, uh, that's also fair. I want this one. Well, this must be the special tree that the uh, Doom and Gloom guy was talking about. Ah. This is definitely a you would know tree. Interesting. Huh. 
And I think that's where the doom and gloom guy lives. Because it's all rob everything. Uh. Uh, that's where my crazy swamp friend lives. Yep. I think Is that doom and gloom guy? I think it might be. Oh, wow. I mean, it would make sense. I had to come up to this place because this place is so lucrative. I got so much stuff out of here last time. Oh hey, there's someone in here. How are you? We slava. Huh. I thought she was in one of the towns. I remember seeing her name before. Maybe she's out foraging. I know, I've seen, like, hunters and stuff go out of town. Alright, I think I, I need I think she's the old more. witch that lives in the woods. Oh. I have an option for you couldn't have woke or chosen a better place The Oxbow welcomes all. She was just talking about how everyone throws stones at her. <laughs> <laughs> she's saying that she isn't a witch, she just knows more about medicine and herbs and human anatomy than most people. You would get along with our local barber, barber surgeon. You think so? Maybe I should pay him a visit, visit then. But first thing you need to find a village to live in. I can hire her to live in our village. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hope to see you soon. Alright, I just need straw now and then I will have my goal done for today. Nice. Yeah, I can take all the stuff out of her house. It's not even ceiling. Huh? Aww. But for some reason, I can't take this copper hammer. Also weird that she lives in a, a house without a roof. Oh, that's really sad too. Yeah. We need to adopt her. Yeah, we do. Honestly, I might give her my house. You need oh. one. We need. We would need to have a job for her too, so. Yeah. She gets unhappy with that one. Yeah. Did you Dang remember it. to switch your walls to uh, stone this time? No, I kept them as the waddle for now. I'm 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 gonna do for my house at least. I'm gonna do uh, the wooden ones because I like the aesthetic of that better. Cool. So. As long as I've got good uh, clothes, I don't need. Super great insulation in my house. So, right. for our uh, followers, though, the yeah. better insulation walls is better because then we use less firewood to yeah. keep them warm. Um, I did learn you don't actually have to use firewood; they will use logs. Oh yeah. And uh, so, if you have somebody dedicated to getting logs, then uh, it actually works out very like better than firewood. Nice. So. Okay, I've looted everything up here. So I'm actually playing a single player in the same map. And I think yeah. I'll come build here. Because this is a nice. great view. I can put my house up on the hill, put the town down on the, the flats of the uh, river. Or the banks of the river. And have a great view out over my town. That'd be nice. Plus the mine right there. There's lots of good stuff to loot in this area. Dried figs. Ooh, those are expensive. Must be a gift. Oh, this used to be a tavern. Huh. Nice. They left a lot of, uh, mead and coins behind. Huh. Yeah, this would be a nice place for a tavern. It has an incredible view. Oh, and there's a job notice board. It is, uh, seeing better days. <laughs> yeah, this looks like it would be a very industrious place to build. 
like stone uh, cliffs all around here. Oh, nice. Yeah, there's uh, not there's some stone cliffs not too far away from here too. Yeah. I was seeing the uh, mining areas in the stone cliffs though. Ah. Ooh, Angie, eat and drink. All right, more abandoned housing too. Oh, very nice. Thinking about sneaking over to that abandoned little area over near where that bear is and see if I can loot it without alerting the bear. Well, both good luck and make sure that you've set your respawn point. Yes, because uh, I am the one who created the map, I don't have to set it, so you need to make sure you set Ooh. yours. Because <laughs> yeah. I found out that was why that was happening. <laughs> oh, I figured that out. I just figured that you'd be able to reset. Alright. Hammer, there we go. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I love just exploring and looting stuff to make money. It yeah, it's better. a lot of fun. <laughs> it was way better than my original attempt at uh, looting stuff or making money by <laughs> making uh, stone knives. That yeah. Was tedious. Okay, so. Oh, got me another axe. Nice. And so far I haven't stolen anything, I don't think. <laughs> Just me this time. Yep. <laughs> Those are wolves. Alright, and I'm back. Alright. Well, I ended up dying. I got attacked by some uh -oh. wolves. And I couldn't really see anything and stabbed my wolves as, or the wolves as much as I could, but did not work. Well, dang. Yeah. That's okay. We can all die sometime. Yeah. And unlike my first time, I've only died once this time. Okay. <laughs> I remember that a first attempt, I died like... Gosh, how many times? I can't even remember. So many. You can collect eggs from the hang house or goose house and consume them or cook them into various dishes. Oh, that's cool. But it doesn't sound like you can uh, hack or incubate them. Oh. Yeah, that's sad. My turn to be right back. All right. Yeah, I'm just uh, building up the resource storage and what I figure we'll do is we'll have it kind of towards the middle of town what I kind of am thinking is over there is where we'll build farms and stuff so they're not like right on top of everybody okay you still working on your house yeah well I'm working on the uh Resource storage. Ah. My house is finished. Cool. Alright, that should be enough straw to finish this building off. How do you do? Want to see my wares? Oops. There we go. I'm going to spend a little bit of coin and complete that beetroot baron quest. Sounds good to me. Oh, 
All right. I think after, ooh, gosh. After we get this one done, I'm gonna go try to loot that bear hut. And then Hello there. that will be Have my a good day. episode, because we don't want to go too long. Yeah, we've been recording for like 40 minutes. Yeah. Hello there. Can I interest you in some of my wares? No, you can't interest me in your wares, but you can buy stuff from me. I sold 540 coins worth of bags. Nice. The hut is done. Uh, now I'm gonna head yeah, over I've here. I got everything you need. Excellent. Oh, there's the bear. Oh, there's another bear. Careful of the bears. Yeah. Our king will go down I think if they stay where they're at, I should be okay. Okay. Did you kill the bear? Alright. I did not kill the bear. I got away from it and then uh went back and finished looting. That's positive. I'm trying to remember where else I would have gotten that uh nice fur uh, mantle from. Yeah. Yeah, I do feel like some of the things are like set because I got the coverlet again but I feel like some of them are random because like I'm pretty sure where I went and got the hat wasn't there this time yeah <sighs> well that confirms it um the there's not always the same camps this camp is missing oh yeah yeah It looks like the buildings are always the same, though. Yeah, definitely. I still got my hat from the building. You know, I wonder if you can only do one of those uh, main storyline quests at a time. Because all my oh. other uh, exclamation points have disappeared. Huh. Well, certainly chose the wrong one to get started with. Oh, the beetroot one? Yeah. yeah. At least I have some beetroot seeds to get us going. Well, in that case, that can be the start of our next episode, is getting the farm started. Sounds good. I need to head down that way and get some, uh, get myself a house going. Yeah. Alright, this is where I will build the farm at. Are you doing any city planning before you start doing stuff? Yes. Um, so the I have my house kind of in the middle-ish, uh, backed up towards the forest, and then the resource storage is like in the middle of town where you know most people would then go. Next to that is like directly next to that is the wood cutting station because that i feel like made sense um and because normally farms are kept farther away um actually there's like a huge wide open space right across the river and we'll be able to eventually build bridges to that but um well, that's where we I'm... could build a bridge or not yeah we can't build them yet you have to get a lot of production technology but eventually we will be able to build bridges to it but it's not super long in the water to cross towards it, so I figure we'll have our farmland over here. Okay. I wonder if the villagers will cross the water versus just they walk do. around. Alright. I have found a place to loot. I 
I have found so far are mostly empty place to loot. Fences, road. Is it buildings? Yeah. Field. Alright. Get kind of small field going. One, two, three, four. One, two. Eat something. Oh, this is supposed to be next episode. Whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this episode, slap a like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, keep on surviving. Hey, have fun gaming. Goodbye. This game just gets me going. <laughs> uh, it's easier to just keep going. Yeah. <laughs>